We've got a special guest, but I know it's just, it won't last long, will it, Eli? <laughs> Everything but one item in this, or there's two of the same item in this bag. Let's see which one he knows he didn't pick out. He wants to show you what he picked out at the Dollar Tree. To. He doesn't want to. <laughs> I got this, 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 You got to show them. Like that, this, like that. Or that. I got this. Okay. Now show them. Alright, so I got... Uh, I'll let him pick out a few I got off-brand Nutella. Is that what that is? Yeah. Hazelnut spray? Yeah, that's what Nutella is. Oh, I didn't know that, that was an off-brand. Hazelnut spray with cocoa? Yeah, it's off-brand Nutella. I didn't know that. That's why I wanted it. That's why he wanted it. What else did you want? Alright, so we haven't found this ever. Mixed, well, fruit, then long time. mixed fruit and jello. No, because we normally get the peach and jello. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah. He's right. Well, you normally get the peach and jello, but he found the mixed fruit and jello. And we also got mango. And Dr. Peeper. He got a. Dr. Peeper. Okay. What do you like most about the Dollar Tree? None of it. You don't like it? Okay, I'll hang on to all this stuff. So often. <laughs> we go there so how how often do you really go in? I don't know. Not very often. He didn't show you, but that's his main goal. I did show him. Oh, him. did you? Okay. He's waiting on something I know, so I gotta see what else is in this bag he picked. Oh, he only picked out one thing in that bag. What'd you pick out? This is what he came in here for, and I said, if you're going to get it, mm. you're going to show it. Okay. Mm. What Pop is corn. it? Pop what brand? Corn. And Just how many ounces? I don't know. I don't <laughs> Chester's Cheese Popcorn. He's got the three-day weekend. I don't know when you'll see this video, but that was his splurge, was the popcorn and the soda because... I haven't bought any other soda. And the fruit, and the fruit with jello is things that he eats in the morning as a snack. I say he'll probably eat that on bagels. I don't know. What else was in that? Something I hadn't seen, but you know it's fall of the years on us. And they had the vibrant orange vanilla icing. I know these icings are in smaller containers than at the store. I don't know how much the store charges now for them. I know you can put food color and make it orange because it's just vanilla flavoring. But I bought two of these because they can go on cookies and sheet cakes and all kinds of things. And I was trying to see how many ounces. My lot's not that good. I ain't plan on doing another video till he came to get his popcorn. 10 ounces, 10 ounces Pillsbury, orange colored vanilla icing. And he also pulled out something that's going in Omi's goodie bag. I put a few other little things in there that y'all have not seen in a long time from my haul. When I was cleaning out my pantry, I thought that goes to Omi, that goes to Omi. So it went in her goodie bag imitation and she may have me try this with her chicken of the sea crab meat in brine 3.53 ounces like i've always said i'm not a seafood person it says one serving per container 70 ounces i mean 70 calories and the imitation crab is made by thread thin bream water, potato starch, calcium carbonate, salt, sugar, seasoning blend, hydrogenized crab protein. I'm sorry for all you crab eaters. Doesn't sound appetizing to me, but who knows? Me and Nomi may try it. 
She may try it with, she, I don't know if Sherry eats it or not. I need to get it in the bag, so. Yeah. And Jan, I know you're not watching right now, bless your heart, but if you were, you'd say, yeah, that's how she is. No seafood for her. <laughs> Something I found that's new at the Dollar Tree, as far as I'm concerned. I mainly got it for Omi. I don't know how well I'd like it in a soup, but it's creamy butternut squash soup that's organic, vegan, and gluten-free. Have y'all seen this? It may be excellent, and I'm willing to try this because I do like squash. 32 ounces for a dollar and a quarter. And I thought that was a good deal. I knew that between me and Omi, or just Omi and my sister, that this would get eight. It's coming up on fall of the year when you want more soup and stuff. So I just bought one. Now, if I knew that this was something I'd eat all the time, I probably could put that rice I showed in the last tile in it even. You could beef it up a little bit if you wanted to, I'd say. It has four servings per container, 90 calories. And it's good till January of 24. January 25th of 24. So I think that's a great deal. I went a little overboard on the crackers. I was actually looking for something that uh, resembled cornbread crackers. I've never seen them. I investigated online this morning and they do have like a cornbread crisp or something. I'm not sure if it was Walmart or if I had to get it online. I think it was Amazon. And it was just very few ounces. I do want to do a, a uh, recipe out of one of the vintage cookbooks. And it asks for cornbread crackers. So, I didn't know which one to get. I don't think this is the right one, but it'll get used. Chicken flavored baked snack crackers, six ounces for a dollar and a quarter. These will get eight whether it goes with the recipe I'm going to do or plan on doing or not. And I probably had crackers here I could have substituted for, but yeah. Good time to get some crackers before the fall of the year and before soup time. And I'd rather have these kind of crackers than the saltine, so... Then vegetable crackers, baked snack crackers, garden veggie. These kind of look like they'd be cornbread crackers, seven ounces, don't they? So I, or at least the picture I seen this morning, they might be. I don't know what, I don't know if they really have cornbread crackers. Cornbread wafers, I think is what I seen. So I, but I got one of these thin vegetable garden veggies. Wheat flour, palm oil, dehydrated vegetable and seasoning blend, carrots, onions, red bell peppers, tomatoes, all that good stuff. And that didn't go well. What am I going to do if I don't make the recipe? I got to make the recipe, don't I? Yeah, I really want to. Snack time, stack pack, vegetable crackers. I think this is the brand that I get it when they have different flavors. I'm not for sure that I like. And, uh, but these look like they'd be kind of crisp. They're made out of wheat flour. So, I got those. Between me, Omi, all the kids like crackers, I'm pretty sure. Kenny, he likes it with his soups and his uh, chilies and stuff. I'm sure they'll get eight before they expire, but I don't need a get any more crackers unless I find cornbread crackers. And no, I won't make them. Let me see. I'm going to see if there's an expiration. 313 of 25. Yeah, I got a long time before I have to use these. Can't, what's the date on these? 10, 10 of 24. Got a long time over a year for these too. Angie Slow, it might be that long. <laughs> and the chicken crackers, 10, 18 to 24, same thing. I've got over a year. Can I do it? 
if you see a, a title that has something cornbread crackers in it, <laughs> you'll know I got it done. So, I, And I know I still have just a few in the pantry, not many. So, three different ones. We'll see if I wind up using them anytime soon. And I really like these original Salsistas Spicy Salsa Chips. I like them with cheese. I like them with sour cream. I even like dipping them in uh, taco sauce. I like the Walmart chunky one. And uh, with these, you can actually eat them all because these have enough spice in them. Normally, I get the medium, but if you have mild, you're still covered on the spice. So, I just got one bag of those because they keep disappearing too. Five ounces. These and the guacamole chips I buy. Have y'all tried those? Those are the two chips that always wind up disappearing around my house. Let me see what else I might have to show you. I don't think I've got anything more interesting but I gave in I bought one little pumpkin one little pumpkin look at it ain't it cute I figure I got enough stuff around here to put it around it didn't have words on it so I could leave it out all year round and uh, it's just called a decor by Greenbrier I was looking to see if it looked cracked, but I think that's just the way it it's made. It's not cracked or anything. I didn't notice that in the store. It's got a pretty sunflower. Or I'm calling it a sunflower. That's the only thing I got. Last haul I got three pumpkins. This haul I got one pumpkin. <sighs> Gotta get busy and decorate the bathroom we had painted for Eli. I've not done any of the decorating yet. It has the washer and dryer in there and I know there's one piece that was hanging on the wall he still wants. One piece I kind of want to redo. It all might get hung up and redone later. I don't know. But I got a new toilet brush for the new chair height toilet he got. So that goes to Eli's bathroom. It's everybody's bathroom. I'm going to call it his, so maybe he'll gravitate. Uh, I didn't show you one more food item. And I, one reason I got it, too, it, it's a humongous can. 29 ounces of the Daisy Farms black beans. 29 ounces. I thought that was a great deal for such a big can. I, yeah, I know. I, can, I got black beans I can put in the crock pot, but for an easy dinner... You bet. I needed another one of those on the shelf. I think I found two smaller cans of black beans. Don't think I have any more, so I think I did good by getting that. I'm trying to be mindful. Got one of these markers to mark out addresses and different things on books. You know, on mail or different things you want to toss out that you want identification. But I didn't get it for me. I actually got it for Omi. And I noticed the top was pulled right here a little bit, but nobody's opened it. But I got that. She can get that in the crab meat. Because she was talking about that was a good idea. And I'm not sure she got one yet. And if she did, we'll just leave it here for a spare. But I'm going to go ahead and put it in her bag. I've got one of these that I use to get cobwebs off the ceiling and stuff. But I also seen you can put your microfiber cloth over it and get in places to uh, get dust and stuff off, like in between uh, railings, you know, like the railings on steps and all that stuff. And I still got to pressure wash my porch. And I'm thinking this might be the ticket to scrub in between the railings. May not even need the microfiber cloth on it. And I didn't want to ruin the one in the house, so bought one more. And I can't remember where I heard that or seen that. Might have been doing on a dime, but I'm not sure. And these are wall protectors. 
and floor protectors. Because I got it for floor. But I'm not sure that they'll be big enough. Might have to use one for the wall, though. I found those at the Dollar Tree for a dollar and a quarter. And I thought I'd put them under my still might can without it bouncing if I use the bigger ones. Getting too many scratches on my oak floor and I'm trying to protect it. And I thought, well, this might do the trick. So we'll have to wait and see if it works. Just bought a cheap shower curtain liner, magnetic liner for Eli's bath. It felt fairly thick. And uh, he's got a shower curtain that I'm going to put up, but he also needs a liner because it's a polyester, I think, material. So I just bought one for a dollar and a quarter. And these are bath drops. Thought I'd get one for. Uh, uh, yeah, Mila. Get one for Mila. I thought she would enjoy the bath drops. Uh, I don't know if Michelle's girls or uh, Alexis one might want the second one because I did pick up two, but one for Mila. And she's the little one and a spare in case the girls want to use it. And I think there's eight water and water coloring tablets, so they can actually open it up and share enough between all four of them. I just bought two, and they were by Crayola, the crayon I grew up with. And I'm almost done. I'm not too too long, so I think I'll get it finished real fast. Thought I was gonna need an ink pen the other day. Like I ain't got a million around here, but I don't think I had one. Didn't think I had one on me till again I get back in the car and Kenny's got one. So I just bought a pack of the Paper Mint Paper Mate eight pack. I think there used to be ten in them. Maybe at one time even twelve. I don't know. Official Bot Top brand, but it's Paper Mate. You get eight medium point ball pens, so it's a name brand. And it's made in Mexico, I didn't know that. Haven't, I've been resisting these, I really have. And I think this is the last item. And I think I'm all caught up. May not see another Dollar Tree till we go out of town. Confidence, it's an uh, insect. Please the holder and 25 incense. It's good as a gift set or if you're like me, I don't really use the holder, but I love the incense. We got to exude confidence and it smells good. So I got one of those. I'm not sure if I've ever exactly had these. Let me see what brand it is. It's a Greenbrier brand. I'm not sure they've ever had this particular one. My memory's bad, but I don't remember having these. Well-being. Again, I don't remember ever having these. Smells great. 25 with the holder. Like I said too, get in a gift basket. Purification, like I said, are these new? I don't remember seeing them. They had some of the Zodiac ones, and I have gotten those before, and I that's why I was looking around. I didn't get any of those this time, because I have had those before. And Vitality, and they all smell good. 25 incense, which is 15 less than the next one. One, no, this one just has 20. Probably because it's jasmine. And you very... I have found this one before, but it's, it's very few and far between. And there's only 20 incense sticks in this one. So in these, it's 25 Greenbrier product with the holder. 
And this one's also a Greenbrier product. What is it, an empty bag? Did you eat them all? <laughs> you don't want to show them? Kenny brought me Eli's empty popcorn bag. He's done finished those off. He thought they were good. So, I better get off here. My boys are stirring around and no telling what we'll get into. I got a couple of videos. This is my second full video and kind of a little intro thing I did earlier. I gotta do stuff when I'm able. And this way I can get all this put up because, you know, I gotta come back with some other stuff. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and until next time, we'll talk soon.